Hello, I'm, I'm Tobias Neuhan, coming from Munich in Germany. Um, I'm practicing in ophthalmology then more than 30 years and um, my subspecialty is anterior segment surgery. Implanting toric IOLs is obvious better than non-implanting toric IOLs when you have corneal astigmatism. The expectation of the patients is very high and so we offer the patient if they have astigmatism higher than two diopters and toric IOL because it gives you better visual acuity without glasses. The very important thing is uh, in a, with the toric IOL implantation is to meet the correct axis. So you measure the um, axis with different um, devices and then it's hard to bring the axis of the cornea perfect on the right place. We w went to the air bubble technique and with the air bubble technique we had on the other side a rotating head where you can mark the, the axis you want to have. So it's one device in all. Previously we had another device um, from a German company from Goida with the pendulum which was nice but the pendulum uh, follows a different system. The pendulum um, gives you the plumb line but the plumb line you know you need a very long distance to have an exact plumb line. Here you have a short distance and therefore we saw also in the use with the pendulum over the time that the pendulum was not as precise as we wanted to have and therefore the idea came with the air bubble. The patient comes in the operation room, he sits on the operating table, I mark his cornea and then he lies down and we have everything. And so I have um, since then very very nice and precise results and I'm in between of five degrees of accuracy. So with the electronic marker, it's um, because it's so sensitive, it's beautiful. Yeah, that is a great, great device. I, I really love it. It's, it's, it's two things. It's an electronic toy and it's a very um, precise and high specialty um, marking. Because when you put that um, on the patient and it's, in, it's very sensitive, then it makes beep 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 So you have to really become very calm to really find the zero degree. What is also done very cleverly is for this sterilization process. You just put the plastic head away and have all the metal. And in Germany it's very very important that we can sterilize it very easily. Here is how it works. When the electronic toric marker is tilted to the right or left, the marker will beep and show an orange or red light. An orange light and moderate beeping indicates a slight tilt, while a red light and fast beeping indicates an extreme tilt. Only when the marker is held perfectly horizontal will it show a green light and stop beeping. Based on the physician's preference, the sensitivity and sound settings can be adjusted on the electronic toric device using the buttons on the top. The electronic toric device can be set to be as sensitive as 0.2 degrees. The handle on the electronic toric marker is ergonomically designed and offers extreme stability as it is held by the thumb and index finger. The marker comes in two models, one for reference marking and the other for one-step toric marking. Catalog number AE2929 is designed to make two-step reference marks. This marker makes two marks at the zero and 180 degree positions on the eye. When the marker is held perfectly horizontal, the physician can make precise preoperative marks to act as a reference to the intraoperative marks. 
The Akahoshi electronic toric marker also comes in a one-step marker that is designed to mark the desired axis preoperatively. This catalog number is AE2930. The marking points can be aligned by turning the outside dial to the correct toric axis. When the marker is held perfectly horizontal, the physician can make intraoperative marks before surgery for the electronic leveling device works as a 0180 guide. This completes all toric marking in just one simple step. That is a nice tool to, to be perhaps more precise than with the air bubble or as precise with the air bubble. And therefore it's, uh, yeah, for the doctor, interesting what he likes more. And he will see what is better for him. You see it in the clinical results. A SECO, where today's precision is tomorrow's vision.